When a narcissist feels you have hurt them, this is how they describe their pain. I'm glad you're here, and thank you for watching. If this is the first time you're here, this channel focuses on narcissists. First, I'd like to thank everyone for participating in today's discussion. It would be best if you lent a hand by liking this video if you think it's useful and informative. Ok, narcissists are harmed when they suffer narcissistic damage. Why do people do what they do? And how does it influence them in the long run? A variety of factors can cause narcissistic injuries. Results vary depending on the level at which you play. I'll also discuss the worst possible outcome for narcissists and how they will likely respond. Wounded ego and narcissistic wound describe emotional traumas that overcome narcissists' protective mechanisms and sever their pride and sense of self-worth. When someone attacks their false image or fake self, it's familiar. Depending on the severity of the injury, they may react in various ways. Even if the wound is large or tiny, there are few things they will always perform. When a narcissist suffers from a narcissistic injury, they tend to perform the following things. Fury and shame are two ways to cover up shame, and anger is two ways to cover up shame and anger. The narcissist is thus motivated to exact revenge on the subject. A narcissist will never truly forgive you even if they say they have. Because they can't, they refuse to forgive. That is why they will always want retaliation and find a method. The well-known smear campaign, which can be carried out on a small or large scale, is one of their preferred methods of punishing people. A narcissist can be pleasant to you, even if they've lied about you and propagated rumors about your character. I'm not talking about the smear campaign when I say there are narcissistic hurts that can cause the narcissist to go one step farther. On top of that, you can inflict much pain on a narcissist that they will never recover, to the point where all their hopes and aspirations for greatness are shattered in front of their eyes. When they realize who or what they are, they feel guilt wash over them. A narcissist can be pushed to the brink of insanity by a few factors. Narcissists are more likely to be hurt by these things, leaving them with the deepest wounds. Leaving narcissists alone, being exposed, and being insulted were the three topics I discussed in greater depth in this video. Furthermore, whoever used all three weapons simultaneously would have done the most harm. As a result, the narcissist will either run screaming from this individual will become the object of their wrath and obsession. If it's the second scenario, you might be able to get the person who injured you to remove their mask by making eye contact with them. When a narcissistic injury of this magnitude occurs to a narcissist, it can drastically alter the life of both the victim and the person who caused the injury. The narcissist's activities will vary depending on how they feel at the time. If they are afraid, they may assume there is no way out. This usually doesn't last long if they give in to the pressure, recognize their mistakes, and ask for help. It's not uncommon for those who've experienced trauma to want to distance themselves from the experience as much as possible and pretend it never happened. In extreme cases, people may try to curse or hex the person they are enraged about or even hire an assassin to kill them. Even though narcissists don't like getting their hands dirty, they would do anything if they could get someone else to do the dirty labor for them. Their most profound, most depraved self is exposed when they suffer narcissistic injuries of any kind. They may put on a victim's act, but that's only to mask their true intentions. For those that know what they're doing, you'll be able to tell something is wrong and see the level of hatred in their eyes. Many negative emotions arise when narcissistic damage occurs to a narcissist. Among the most overwhelming are dread, rage, hatred and guilt. So, the narcissist has more nasty energy to work with. 
a narcissist will crumble under the weight of being ridiculed, exposed, and abandoned all at once. The harm done is irreparable, as with all narcissistic injuries. Their narcissistic wounds mount up over time, making them darker and more miserable. When they're around, they're a significant nuisance. Without retaliation, they're left to face significant suffering, which might drive them insane or enraged. There is no attempt to heal the scars of narcissism by the narcissist. Retaliation or denial is more likely, making it more difficult for them to mature. Please avoid narcissists as best as you can and let them self-destruct. I hope you find this information helpful. Tell me about the narcissist's reaction to being injured by you and how you dealt with it. The moment has come to say goodbye till the next video. I wish you the best of luck. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive notification when we upload new videos. Thank you.